Hello, my name is Jerry Birnbaum, and I'll be presenting on the scalable synthesis of silicon sulfide for next generation batteries. So with the increase in use of renewable energy and electric vehicles, the need for high performance batteries has never been higher. The current state of the art technology are lithium ion batteries, which are rapidly approaching their theoretical limits in terms of specific energy and specific power. A promising alternative are solid state batteries, which can have higher performance and also lower risk of fire or explosion. A key to developing solid state batteries are the lithium superionic conducting electrolytes, such as the lithium sulfide, silicon sulfide, phosphorus sulfide system, which is hard to develop now due to expensive precursors. The current synthesis method for silicon sulfide involves elemental silicon and sulfur and annealing in a quartz ampule, which is highly energy intensive, costly, and not scalable. A proposed alternative to this is the cascaded metathesis proposed by Will Smith, where sodium sulfide is reacted to create lithium sulfide, which is reacted to create silicon sulfide. The first step in this is the production of high purity and hydrous sodium sulfide. Was solution-based synthesis I developed for this in, requires the reaction of sodium metal and alcohol producing hydrogen gas, which is reacted with hydrogen sulfide and dried to create anhydrous sodium sulfide. This also abates toxic hydrogen sulfide gas and creates clean burning hydrogen. Another way to do this is the purification of sodium uh, sulfide hydrate, where the sodium sulfide hydrate is first um, dehydrated and then reduced in hydrogen producing pure sodium sulfide. The sodium sulfide is then reacted with lithium chloride in solution to create lithium sulfide. And then the supernatant of lithium sulfide is centrifuged and separated in pure, and it's pure lithium sulfide. The pure lithium sulfide is finally used to create silicon sulfide. This was done in two different ways. There is a solution-based synthesis in THF using different times and temperatures as control variables and also a solid state reaction in a higher energy ball, ball mill for two hours. As you can see from the X-ray diffraction of this, the solid state uh, synthesis seemed to work better due to the precipitate and the blue trace being completely amorphous as expected and the green trace of the supernatant having pure lithium chloride. The solvent-based synthesis was not as successful as you can see in the gray trace, there's residual lithium sulfide Another characterization technique used was FTRR, and as you can see, all the solution uh, methods show uh, the characterization, characteristic peaks for silicon sulfide, but they are more pronounced in the solid state reaction. Overall, the solid state synthesis of silicon sulfide is very promising for use. It is easily scalable. There is still ongoing work in this area um, trying to remove impurities in this silicon sulfide, such as uh, phosphorus, chlorine, and excess sulfur. But with more work, uh, it is definitely a promising use for silicon sulfide, which is a really important material for use in next generation all solid state batteries. Uh, thank you for your time.